Welcome back to another NES Classic Reviews. We are playing today Kirby games. First you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby. So here we go. I've never actually played the Kirby games before. I don't really know much about this game at all. I've actually avoided the Kirby games just because of the color, the pink and purple and white. and It seemed, even as a kid, this seemed like a little baby's game. So, But from what I hear, all the reviews and everybody I've heard says this is actually a super fun game. So we're just going to check it out for ourselves. Here's this famous Kirby of Dreamland. So, Alright, let's do this. Vegetable Valley, level one. Yeah, I know you eat your enemies and you can gain their powers. That's basically all I know about this game. I'm literally just getting dropped into it, huh? Okay. Okay, so A jumps and B eats the enemies. Oh, and these guys can fly, so I can... What's going on? So I can fly now. That's cool. What the heck? My guy's freaking out. Kirby's freaking out. This is interesting. This is uh this is definitely like an acid trip or something. This is weird. I'm literally just pressing the, the two buttons I have. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I can get people like spit out powers. I can get to level one here anyway. Not too bad of a game. If you're a fan of this style of uh, these puzzle quest games, I guess it's not too bad. And Kirby's a popular game, so I guess it deserves to be on the uh, NES Classic. Like I said, it's not like it's Ice Climber or something. Whoa, this is new. Push A. A. Ooh, I just unlocked the rest of the map. Can I get that? Can I eat that? What is that? Nope, I guess I'm moving on to level two. Alright, so this is Kirby for you. Kirby's Adventure. We're going to check out the rest of the Kirby games from the Super Nintendo. Alright, next up is Kirby Superstar. Eight games in one for the Super Nintendo. And once again, yeah, don't know nothing about this game. It's Kirby being Kirby. 16 bits of Kirby. Superstar! Alright. Kirby 1, Kirby 2, Kirby 3. Hmm, we'll start with Kirby 1. Spring Breeze. Oh wow, there's just a bunch of different little mini games, it looks like. We'll try off road. I think that's what that says. Great Cave Offensive. Wow. Find treasure. Hidden treasure. Okay, this is a weird game. Okay, it's like an RPG or... Oh, 
This is a weird Kirby game. There's supposed to be eight different games in here. I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. I don't like really this. What's going on with this? But I will review it because it's a SNES classic review. And this is on the SNES. For some reason, there's only 20 games on this one, and they decided to put two Kirby games. I guess Kirby, everybody loves Kirby. This isn't all that fun for me, though, so we're going to move on to the next one. Next up is Kirby's Dream Course from the Super Nintendo. Looks like it also came out the same year the other Kirby games did, so this is like all three of these games came out within like the same two years. One player, play course. All right, let's, let's suffer through this. So far, I'm not a fan of the Kirby franchise. Okay, so let's do this already. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what this game's about. Shit. I know you probably didn't want to go off the edge. I do know that. Well, yeah, I'm kind of done with this one. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of the Kirby franchise, and, uh, yeah, I suck at these games, so... Yeah, my review of Kirby is, nah, not a fan. I'm gonna go ahead and skip these ones. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you later.